Right, we're going to look at a super easy to use feature in Lightroom Classic that I don't know if enough people know about. We're going to look at how you can denoise your photos when you've had no other option other than to bump that ISO right up. We've got a couple of examples here. How can you get rid of that digital noise? How can you just clean it up? It's actually incredibly easy. Let's dive into it. It's Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday, where each week, each and every Tuesday, we bring a brand new, fresh photography tutorial. Let's just dive into Lightroom Classic, and I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to denoise your photos. Now, this isn't a particularly new feature in Lightroom. It actually came out a little while ago, I think towards the start of last year, but I know a lot of photographers in my life who actually don't know about this feature. I don't use it all the time, of course, but there are certain situations, like this photo here, where I had no option but to bring the ISO up to 12,800. It was pretty dark, trees overhead, this is inside a bush, I only had a moment to capture it, so, you know, we're a thousandth of a second with the shutter speed, f5.6, the ISO's got to go up just to get that exposure right, but it does leave us, if we zoom in here, this very noisy photo. Now, not the end of the world, but we certainly can clean this up. So over here on the right, we're going to scroll down to the detail panel, which is just here. So just at the bottom of this panel, we can actually open up this manual noise reduction and we can do it ourselves. But do you know what? I think it's a lot easier and actually I think it's a lot more effective to use this big old denoise button right here. We're going to click that and Lightroom is actually going to analyze the photo. It's going to find the noise and it's going to work out how we can get rid of it. Now we have control over how much this is going to be applied and we can see what it's going to do before it actually does it. So here we've actually got a preview of what the photo is going to look like. And if I click on this preview and hold, this is what it currently looks like before we've done any denoising. If I release, this is what Lightroom is going to do. Now we can actually reduce the amount that it's denoising. So let's bring this down to something like 25, right? So if we want to retain a little bit more of the detail, we can do that. So we can still left click and see what it was like before and then with. Now you can see that Lightroom saying estimated time four seconds and I'm going to keep this little tick box clicked on. So if I click enhance now, Lightroom's going to work this out and you can see a slider up in the top left here where it's just applying this and it's actually going to create a new photo. So we're not getting rid of the old photo, we've still got the old noisy photo we can always go back to, that's super useful because we can do it again, we can do it differently, we can always go back with Lightroom which is really important, it's non-destructive. But we now have this stack, so you can see there's the number two over this photo down here on this kind of photo reel. And if I click on that, you can see side by side here, we've now got the old version with the noise and the new version, which has got the noise taken out. So with that slightly zoomed in there, you can see the difference this is making. That's with the noise and then without. And look at the difference in that photo. This becomes a very usable image that I'm actually really happy with. This is a tiny bird. Do you know what? If anyone out there knows what kind of bird this is, let me know in the comments because I have no idea, but it's a tiny bird in the middle of a bush and now I've got a usable photo and it means that I feel comfortable if I need to bumping my ISO up to what I would have in the past considered to be pretty much unusable levels. We've got another photo here, which is nowhere near as bad, to be honest. Actually, it was better lighting, so we've got a, a kind of sharper, more detailed image. But you can see, if I zoom in a little bit, we have got a bit of a noisy background. There's a shot at ISO 10,000, so not quite as high. We can go ahead and just click Denoise here, and it's gonna be exactly the same, right? So we can click on here. Let's move up to something like this, and you can see, I actually think that this just creates a much better end result right? It's so clever how it does it. We still retain lots and lots of details. And again, I'm just going to click enhance. Lyrum's going to do its thing. And then we're left with these two photos. So we've got this stack here again. Let's click on that to actually split them out. Let's zoom in. Look at how clean this is. It is amazing how much detail is retained in the squirrel's fur, but the background is now nice and clean. If I zoom out, we've got a beautiful, clean photo of a squirrel on a branch. And that's it. That's the whole tutorial. That's how easy it is to denoise your photos in Lightroom Classic. Now, this is only going to be working with raw photos. So as far as I know, it doesn't currently work with JPEGs. And I assume that's because it just needs it needs as much data as possible to do this in the cleanest way possible. Who knows what might happen in the future though, but you know, for now, this is a great way of cleaning up those photos. And like I say, shooting with confidence 
at higher ISO levels. Now you can check out a full list of all the kit we use for these different photos for this video as well. There's loads of stuff down in the description so you can go see that for yourself. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. New content all the time. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.